Hi guys. Welcome to my bunny class. I'm just going to wait for some people to get in here. And I will start talking. Hi Shannon. Hi Lisa. Hi Ruby and Lucy. How are you all? Hi Miss Amy Bellis and family. How are you guys today? Hello, Shelly. Hello, Vanessa. So interesting to see who's on Facebook and who's on Instagram. All right, guys. So we're making bunnies today because I love bunnies. And it's Easter. I hope the Easter bunny comes and sees you today. Or not today, but Sunday. Has anybody died any Easter eggs? Oh, that's one of my favorite things to do. I love dying Easter eggs. Hey, Barb. You're just getting a lot of me today, aren't you, Barb? <laughs> I love the fact that you love my classes. That's fantastic. We need to get out of this townhome. Tell me about it. Although, I, you know, Amy, where do you all live? Where is it? Is it? Um, uh, Wisconsin, or is it Minnesota, or I don't remember. Anyways, I just know it's cold up wherever you are, and I just want you to know that today is beautiful here, absolutely beautiful. Ah, I love the fact that you, Lisa, mailed all your grandkids baskets. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to get started and just start talking like I normally do, all right? So, here we are. Today, we're going to do our bunny class. I do this every day at 2 o'clock, Monday through Thursday. Uh, it is a watercolor class, but you can follow along with pretty much anything. And today, we are making this bunny rabbit. So, fantastic. And I see that Wisconsin. Yeah, it's, it's very pretty here. I hope it's pretty there. Um, I wanted to let you know that there is a class that I'm doing. It is a one-on-one -on -one Zoom class where I see what you're doing and we can talk instead of talking through um, Facebook and Instagram like we see each other. And we are going to make this watercolor of these hydrangeas. I've always wanted to do a hydrangea class. So this is my first one. I do have an acrylic one coming up too. And Amy just said that she was supposed to have snow on Sunday. She lives in Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> Anyways, um, so this is Monday and Tuesday. It's this week, next week, and it's $25. So direct message me if you're interested in that because that is going to be a fun class. I wanted to review while I waited for some people to see what happened. I wanted to show you what we've made. We've made little chickies. We've made pirates, we've made a parrot, we've made Nemo, we've made this cute little pig. Oh my gosh, this was one of my favorite classes, totally one of my favorite classes. The giraffe, I loved the giraffe too. And then we made little humans. We made girl humans and boy humans, right? How cool is that? All right, so we've learned a lot. I wanted to say that I use watercolor paper. It is a 140 pound watercolor paper. You can buy it anywhere. Um, anywhere. I don't know if Kroger's has it, but you could use regular cardstock. That works too. So um, that is one thing. And I want you to know that it's very thick paper. You don't want little thin paper because it buckles on you when you put water on it. So, that will help you when you do that. So, that is watercolor paper that's 140 pound. It does not matter what brand. Okay? I take that piece of paper and I cut it in half. Because I want to save all my paper. I don't want to waste my paper. Because this isn't the most, you know, cheapest stuff that you can buy. So, I cut it in half. And then, I even cut it even further down into little squares like this 
for our little exercises. So I always start out my classes with a small exercise first, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to kind of work off of what we worked on yesterday. And you're going to need some watercolors. Watercolors being, um, it doesn't matter what brand. This is an Angora brand. I bought this off of Amazon. And there's 14 colors here. You could have less. It doesn't matter. And so this is, it does not matter. This is just a great little set. You're going to need a paintbrush. This paintbrush is going to be, a, this is called a mop. It's a quarter inch mop. And that just means that it's really, really soft. You know, some people say that you could even use your makeup brushes on this. Now, I've never tried that, but you know, makeup brushes are really, really light and airy. So that's a possibility if you don't have any fancy brushes. You don't need fancy brushes. And then you're going to need a pencil, of course. Watch out for that eraser on that pencil. If it's hard, don't use it. It won't work. Um, I have something called a kneaded eraser here. This is something you can buy in the art part. I think Walmart has them. Um, and I know Michaels and Hobby Lobby and all those places do. But I know some of those are non-essential. But this is a special little... Um, eraser and you can like literally make it into a little point it works really cool so it's one of my favorite tools honestly you're going to need some water okay you're going to need some water you want it clean water and you're going to need a paper towel also all right so today we're going to continue our work on our little starburst which i thought i'd have i do not have a copy of where i put those yep so here we are we're gonna do the same thing because when we do our little bunny which is this is what we're do, painting today is our little bunny is that bunnies have fur right so we need to figure out how to make some fur so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make some fur after we so we need to practice that so i don't care what color we do I'm going to go in here and, but today, yesterday we worked on circles. Today, I think what we're going to do is we're going to just make little baby little things. So I'm putting some water first. Hmm, let me stop. I'm getting all carried away. You know how I am. I go fast. So you got to activate your watercolors first. You can't just go straight into them because then it's like, well, it just doesn't work very well. So I like to spray them with a water bottle first. This is my favorite thing to do. It goes really fast. Okay, but if you don't have a spray bottle, you can actually take your paintbrush with some water and then you click, you put it in each pan and then you wipe it off on your paper towel. And I do that same thing to each one. After each one, I'm putting it on my paper towel. The reason I'm putting it on my paper towel is that you want to keep these very, very pure and clean. You don't want to mix them. Haven't y'all ever seen a water palette that's just so dirty? I bet some of you have that. Do you see how clean mine is? I use this all the time. And do you see how clean that is? It's not completely clean, but that's what you're going for, okay? So you always want to wipe it off on your paper towel. Okay, so I'm going to put that right here. Hopefully everybody can see. Yes. All right. Now, over here on our little paper towel, or not our paper towel, but our practice sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a color. Today, I think I'm going to go with this pretty purple pink color i have some water on my brush and then i go dip it into the actual paint all right and today i'm going to try to make you see it's very very easy but i'm trying to make those little points that's what i'm trying to go for so i'm coming in and i'm going and I'm trying to see how far down I have to push. Like that is just dots, right? 
And that kind of looks like fur too. So we're really testing out how we can make fur today. So this first one, we're going to do that with, I'm going to go with a blue next. All right. And I'm coming in and I'm coming in and I'm, I have too much water on my brush. I can tell because it all just went, shh, soaked it right up. So I'm going to try this again. And this time I'm going to make little hatch marks. And you see that's making it look a little bit more like fur. You could call that grass too, right? Like it's the same process. I'm going to come in here and now I'm going to make little... I'm going to see what it looks like if I just dab it. Look at all those different little techniques to make what fur could look like. All right. We're going to do... I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do that on all of these color not all of these colors but I'm going to practice all right so this one I'm just doing I have to say I like that um dabby one the best what do y'all think you like that one the best I think it's the funnest <laughs> uh, all right I'm gonna go into some red next and I know I'm going pretty fast. You don't have to keep up. The whole point of this is that we are exercising. We've got to learn how much water we have to have on our brush. See, even then, I had too much water pretty much. You have to learn how much water you need on a brush in order to get this done, right? And so that's what this whole exercise is. I like those over here. I think those look pretty fun. Okay, I'm going to continue. And this time I'm going to make big ones. See what that does. See if you can make a line all the way down. I'm going to connect them. And now I'm going to do my little dabs. I just think it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? That was a good movie, by the way. Um. Okay, so I'm continuing. i am got too much water on my brush just then. Needed to put some more water or more actual paint on my brush to get that to actually work. All right, I think I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna call it quits and we're gonna paint our bunny. Um, another thing is, is that I'm gonna do big ones here. See if you can't do some big ones because this exercise right here of doing these big ones is a great way to make Christmas trees or grass. So now I'm making my little stubble. That's what it's called, stubbling, which, I, you know, is basically dabbing. All right. And that is our little lesson today, right? I'm going to zoom in so you all can see it. I know you kind of see only half my piece of paper. I've got two cameras here going for Instagram. And, but that's kind of what we're going for here. All right, are we ready to start drawing our bunny rabbit? Yeah, I hear ya. Okay. So I'm getting one of my pieces of paper out. All right, and here we go. So I want us to talk about it before we get started. I want you to look at the shapes of things. This is very important. When you're drawing anything, you need to worry about, well, that's what you need to focus on. You need to focus on the actual shapes because everyone knows shapes, right? So let's think about this. So what color, what, it's a circle, right? For those eyeballs. This is kind of a circle here too, right? In that little nose area. This is a circle, but it's kind of an oval, right? 
So that's kind of, that's nice right there, right? And then if you did, this is a long oval, right? So this long oval is kind of like a football shape. It's called an elliptical, all right? So I just wanted to show that right now. And now let's go in and let's draw something. I want to say one thing about my bunny. I got to looking at this bunny and I think that the head is off a little bit. Like I feel like he should, this should be coming in a little bit right here. And then he should have fat little cheeks. So we're going to work on that when we actually go to draw it. All right. Okay. Let's get our pencil out. You want to draw this. Let's see if I can get, yeah, that's better right there. Okay. You want to draw this very lightly. You don't want to have the whole thing. All right. And I also like to divide. I'm going to go this a little bit darker, but I'm going to divide my paper into thirds. And I'm doing that because I want big old ears. And this is a good way to make sure that I have big ears. Okay. So, I'm going to put my bunny's nose, that's what we're going to start with, down here at the bottom of this first line towards the bottom, okay? So, I'm going to make a little, I'm making an round oval shape. For that nose. Does everybody see that? Okay. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to make his eyes. His eyes are kind of, let's make them on the right along these two middle lines. And maybe if you have, I'm going to put it like a finger above it. So I'm going to go right here. And I am going to do big old ovals. Now, I painted this bunny several times. And one time, he looked really, really upset. Like, he was mad. So, I have learned that these eyeballs need to be round. And he looks a whole lot less mean if these eyeballs are round. Okay? But we're going to work on that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make his little nose here. So, in the middle of his nose... I'm going to make a little triangle and then down here and a little and I'm going to push this up a little bit. That also makes him a little happier. I'm going to erase this line so y'all can make sure that it's not there. I know that's a little confusing. Okay. Y'all see that? That's all we've done so far. All right. Now we got to do the top of his head. Okay, so it's almost to the top of this line, this first line, and I'm going to draw kind of a curved line, and it goes out a little bit farther than his eyeballs, just a little bit, and now I'm going to connect. Remember I told you I needed to make my bunny go in a little bit? Okay, I'm going to make it rounder too. I'm making it round. That's good. Now, I'm going to make his big old cheeks. Remember I said he needed big old cheeks? So, I'm coming in here. And do you all see how I'm kind of ghosting? That's I practice with my finger first without the pencil. All right, so I'm coming in here and I'm just doing... A few strokes like that. Now, let's draw that body. So, the body goes down. Nothing special about that body right there, right? Now, we got to do those ears because the ears are like the most important part about our bunny. Of course, right? Like, who? We have to have good old ears. Okay, so, I like to start up here in my corner. And I like to put a dot. And I like to put a dot down here at the bottom. So I have two dots. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the dots. 
And you want it round and also oval. All right. And honestly, I don't really connect this one down here at the bottom. You see that? I sort of did, but then I squared it off. So that's what you're going to go for. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing over here to this right one. Okay, so, but this one, sometimes bunny's ears, one goes this way, one goes this way. I mean, they get all kind of wonky, right? So, it doesn't matter if it's straight up or if it's down. I'm going to make mine straighter, all right? He's listening out, this one. How many bunnies do you know that are li good listeners? This one's going to be a good listener. You see that? And then, I'm going to come over here and do it over here on this one. It looks like he has a little bit of fun, doesn't he? Okay, inside bunny ears are really, well, that pretty pink color, so that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna do the same shape. It's gonna repeat that shape in both of these ears. So, I'm gonna come in about a finger, all right? So, like one little finger, I'm gonna add my dot, and I'm going to put my dot at the very bottom. I'm going to do that on this side too. Two dots. And I'm going to come in. And I'm going to add an inside. Now, I'm going to start erasing some lines. Because I don't want y'all to be confused. One of the biggest things that I like to do is I like to first d erase my guidelines, my tic-tac-toe board, because that automatically starts helping you figure out, oh, I like that better, right? But that's also why this is practice, you write, do these very, very lightly. Because if you do it dark, it's going to be hard to erase. Now, mine were dark because I wanted to make sure you could see them. But that's definitely much better. I'm already seeing my bunny. I like him. What are we going to name our bunny? Is he Peter Cottontail? I haven't watched that movie yet. I'm kind of, I'm looking forward to it. We might have to do that this weekend. Okay. Now... I'm going to come in here and erase that, erase that. Now, there's something that we're missing here. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but bunnies have this little area right here in his nose area that we need to kind of add. And this also makes your bunny happy or sad or mad, okay? So, you kind of come in here, and you're going to do it lightly, but I'm making this little area it's kind of like a big old j upside down j yeah just like that i'm gonna square off that nose just a little bit too okay what do you think you seeing a bunny i see he's pretty cute okay so, now it's time for us to start painting. What do you say? Am I going too fast? You got any questions? Now's the time. I'm going to make my bunny a little bit fatter. All right, I'm looking for questions. If you've got any... I'm not seeing any. That's fantastic. Okay, I loved going Easter uh, hunting eggs. It was fun. My Easter bunny would put them everywhere. I, he, he would even put them in the tree sometimes. Okay, so here we go. I'm starting to paint now, people. You with me? Okay, so I've got... My, I'm going to do my browns here. I don't know if you all have browns. You could do some yellows. You could go with black and white. 
that's also a pretty good one. Um, but I'm going to go with my gold and brown colors. So I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm dipping it in water first. And then I'm coming in here and I'm going to get some goldy light brown. All right. And I'm going to paint inside this area of the bunny of the ears. Now, I'm staying with one color right now, and I'm only doing those edges of that ear. And I'm going to start doing the rest of this bunny this color too. But it's really light. I'm not really focused too much on, I don't have a lot of water on my brush. But I also don't have like a lot of paint on my brush too. I'm just kind of coloring it right now. I'm going to leave this nose completely white until the very end, probably. And I'm going to just come in here and add a first layer. Now, remember, we've been learning about layers in watercolor. If you want it darker, you've got to wait for it to dry, and then you go back in with some color. So that's why we're painting the whole color one color first but we don't want a whole lot of paint on it. So we now need to rest this color. Rest this color meaning let it dry. So I'm gonna clean out my brush with my paper towel. Okay, now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do the ears. And I'm gonna be really careful not to get the pink into the ears. Now, and here's another thing. I don't really have the right pink in my palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use red and a whole lot of water. So watch this. I've got some red. I'm going to put it over here on my palette on the top, right? I'm using it kind of as my mixing plate. And now I'm going to add a lot of water to it. And I'm even going to pull some water out. You see how I'm pulling it out? That's going to be lighter than down here. I'm going to get some more water and I'm going to do the same thing. And now if I want to test this, I can come over here to my paper towel and see. And that's exactly what I was going to go for. So I'm taking that little color and I'm going to put it right here in this ear. Oh, that's yummy. That's so yummy. That's perfect color for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I think that the little nose should be have a little pink tint to it. What do you say? So, I'm going to add that little pink thing right there. I'm going to do it down here on his mouth, too. You see that? I kind of just did a little bit. And that's it. Oh, he's already getting cute. Just love that. All right. I'm going to do the eyes next. I'm going to wipe off my brush completely. Get a little bit of water on my brush. Come over here to the black. And I'm just going to paint these eyeballs. Paint the eyeballs. That's perfect. All right. I'm liking it. Now, hopefully, we've given our yellow, orange, well, you know, our brown a little time to rest. And it's not soaking wet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to it. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in to my other brown. So I started with this gold color. Now I'm gonna start with this brown. Coming in with some water and I'm gonna be a little bit choosy of where I actually put this brown, all right? So I'm gonna stay with close to the edges. I'm gonna come down here where the bottom of his head is and I'm going to just add a little bit of a line right here. Now, I've added this line. I want it blended down. So how do we blend? Does anyone know? I'm waiting. No. Nah. Okay, you're painting. I'm going to add some water. Yeah, I know. I'm a big dork sometimes. I get it. So I added some water to the edge of that. And now I'm taking it down. I'm not going back for more paint. I'm moving the paint on the paper. And I'm doing that little area right in there to make him look like he has a bridge, a, a nose bridge. 
I'm going to do this. I don't have, I'm not going back for water or any more brown. I'm just kind of coming in and I'm going around here. It's nice and light, not overworking it. I'm going to come over here to the eyeballs, do the same. And you see how I'm leaving that color, that light color in the very middle. That's important. Now we're gonna do that same thing up here in some of these ears. So I've got some brown on my brush and I'm coming over here to the bottom and I'm starting at the bottom and I'm gonna pull from the bottom all the way up to the top. But you see how it got lighter up at the top? That's what we're going for. So that one's a little darker, but that's okay. That's one of the good things about watercolor is that you get all of these different variations of these colors. And that's why people like it so much. So interesting. You know, when I was a little girl, I hated watercolor. It did not, I did not like watercolor at all. I said it was too hard to control. And now I'm starting to become a watercolor person. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to come down here to the body. All right, down here at the body, I need to make it look like he's round. So I'm going to come over to the edge. And remember when we did tornadoes last week? Last week we did tornadoes where we started really with a whole lot of color. And then we were pushing down hard. And then we would go lighter, 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 lighter. And then we add some water to it. And that would make some more. Ah! He's starting to look round. I see him. I see him. How y'all doing? Okay. I hear ya. Kinda. Okay. So, what have I not done yet? What have I not done given two layers of yet? I haven't done a second layer of my pink, and I haven't done a secret layer of my black. I'm going to go back to my pink now. Okay, so I'm coming over here, back to my little mixed paint right over here. Okay, I may need to add some water because it was on my palette, so it doesn't stay wet very much. But you can just put some water on it and you have more of it. I'm coming down and I'm adding it only to the bottom edge. And do y'all see how far up on my paintbrush I'm holding? I am not like this. We loosen up. That's the best part about it. Loosen up. Don't be uptight. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go back to... I'm leaving that. That's all I did. I did not do anything with the nose. I'm going to come back to the eyeballs. Get a little bit of water. A little bit of black. Come in here. And I'm not coloring the in the whole thing. I'm going to zoom in here too. Y'all see that? I'm leaving a little bit gray. That's how we're making this thing look 3D. Okay? All right. So we've done almost everything with two color. Well, two layers. We're going to go back and we're going to do a third layer. We're going to work on these ears. I'm going in to a darker brown. Okay? That's this one. So, I'm coming in. I get some brown. Does anyone know what I'm going to do? So, I'm going to start down here at the ear. And I'm going to add just to the bottom half of this. Mm, you know what? I'm going to do the bottom half of that, too. And you, did you see I did not do the whole ear? I just did this bottom half. I'm going to do the same thing over here. All right. Now I'm going to come over here and do the top part of his forehead. And I'm going to start now right up here in the center and this side. Now this is kind of wet still. As soon as I put it down, it started to bleed. So I kind of knew, ah. Oh, we got a lot of water here. So all I have to do is add 
I'm dabbing. Does everyone see that? And I'm dabbing in this little area and I'm kind of coming in and I'm coming around and I'm not doing a very good job. I'm just kind of putting some color there. Do y'all see that? Oh, he's cute. He's getting there. All right, I'm coming back for some more brown, the dark brown. And I'm gonna come down here to this area. Now that was a lot of brown. Did you, woo, like you're like, oh my goodness, what's she doing? I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down with the body. So now if I've done this, I'm gonna get some, I've wiped off my brush because I felt like that was way too much. So what I'm gonna do is put some water on it. And I'm coming here and I'm gonna take my water, get it on that dark part, and then I'm gonna pull it down. I'm gonna get some water on my brush and pull it down. You don't have to have a whole lot of water in order to do this. Do you everyone notice that I'm leaving this center part with no color? It's very, very light yellow, pale color, okay? That's kind of important because we want him to look round. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think his face needs a little bit of help. I think I'm going to go back to this light brown. Now, how y'all doing with the ones that don't have brown? You know, working with gray, black. And how would you make that lighter. How would you make black lighter? Anybody know? You would add water. Okay, I'm coming in here with this brown and I'm kind of outlining some cheeks. And I am doing little baby strokes. Y'all see that? I'm doing little baby strokes because He has fur, right? And that's what we practiced. It's not perfect. It just goes all the way around. I'm going to give this a rest. All right? We're going to cut. This needs to dry off. Okay. I'm going to come back to these ears. Now, I am going to go back to this brown color. I like that brown color. So, I may use it again. And I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to do a few broad strokes. Yep. Not bad. I think this is still wet down here. So I'm going to give that a rest. I think I'm going to come back to this pink. I'm coming into the pink, the same color that I made, okay? You see how light that is? That's okay. And I'm coming back down, and I'm going to do a few areas around. You see I'm only adding it in a few places, okay? Oh, that's looking good. You see how it's starting to look like an ear? It's looking like a baby ear. That's good. I'm going to come, because I want the face to rest, I'm going to come down here and work on this body a little bit. I'm going to go get that brown that I said that I liked a lot. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to do this whole little shape right here like an arm. But I'm putting it in the middle there too. Y'all see that? And do you all notice that I'm doing little baby strokes now? Almost every time I'm doing anything now, I'm doing little baby strokes. Because he's got hair. And that's how we're going to make hair, right? We're going to keep on making those little baby strokes. Okay, I'm going to come up and I'm going to work on this eye just a little bit more. I want it even darker. My eyes are almost dry. So I'm coming in with some black again. 
and I'm going to pull it up so y'all can see. And I'm now going to just put it on the very bottom. Did y'all see that? Let's see if I can do it on this side. Ready? Just at the bottom. And I'm going to let it do its thing. It's adding depth around there, right? Because it's making this darker. Okay. I want to work on this little nose thing. I'm coming back to that gold color that I had. I'm going to add just a little bit right there. And I think I'm going to add some more around here. And you'll see how I'm dabbing. But I'm leaving some of that spot that we haven't touched with paint in a long time. I'm going to add, I'm messing up this little line here too. And I'm dabbing around it. And that is making it look like it has water or like it's fur. Okay? All right. So I think this part right here is about ready for us to work on. So we are going to do... I'm gonna go back to that pretty brown that I was using, and I'm gonna start making some more darker spots. So I'm coming in and I'm just adding blocks of color. And I want you to notice that I skipped a whole little area right there and I made him look like he has eyebrows. Right here, this forehead part. That's what we're working on. Coming in with my brown and I'm dabbing. You got to be careful that you don't have a lot of water on your brush or it's never going to work. You're going to get a big old pile of brown goo. I'm coming down here to the bottom of my body. And I'm going to do a little bit more of that padding. See if I can't get more texture in some of this. Make him look like he has some fur. Ah, uh, not bad. Okay. His nose is bothering me a little bit. So I'm, I had like a puddle right there and I put my dry paint brush on it and I dabbed it right up. But it still toned that little area and I like that a lot. Now, does anybody say that your bunny just looks too light? Like, I want it brighter, right? Like, that's something that I say a lot when I do this. I'm going to rest this, and I'm going to do the background, all right? We're going to just give it a, a chill minute. So, I'm going to go in, and this time, I think I'm going to do blue. I did green over here on this one. Ah, see, I think our bunny's already looking better than this bunny. He looks more real. Okay, I'm giving this a rest and I'm going to go to blue. So I'm taking some blue on my brush and I'm trying to stay away. Now that did not work because I got right into it. And I'm taking it and I'm just painting real fast a little bit. I don't have a lot of water on my brush. Okay, one, I can control it a little bit better when I do that. Two, I get more color in there, too. One of the reasons I'm doing blue is because blue is a complementary color to, like, orange. And not that our rabbit is orange, but it works pretty nice. It's popping him right out. You see that? Do you see how well he's popping out compared to this side versus that side? Be careful not to get any of this blue in this yellow or you're going to get some green mess. Which might not be bad, but we don't want him to bleed all over the place, right? And do you all see that I don't go back from a lot of paint very often either? Okay. Looking good. He looks so cute. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to see here. It's not bad. Not bad at all. You don't want... And you know when you put... When you do the background and you add a whole lot of water, it's the paper starts to bow like that. 
And what that means is, is that you almost have too much water on your, on your thing, on your paper. So you might need to rest. Rest meaning let it dry just a little bit before you go on. Okay. Now mine's still doing pretty good. Or you could hit it with a little heat tool. So I always like to have this little heat tool right next to it. This is a Ranger heat tool. It's not, it's pretty, it's not very loud, but it dries it really, really fast. You don't even need to do it very, very long. That does just enough. Like that wasn't long at all. Okay. I'm going to now go and do some more black, but this time I'm going to do this pretty brown color that we'd been talking about. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to do it in places that we've already done it. And I'm just, I'm doing it in strokes this time, short little ones, because I want him to look like he has hair. I always start down here at the bottom of these ears because this is where his ears are going to be the darkest. I think I'm even going to take some of this brown and put it inside that pink color right there. Do you see how that looked really nice there? Okay. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do some of the same work. I'm going to do little strokes really close to each other like we practiced at the beginning of the class. All right. He's looking pretty cute. Y'all feel like he's cute? I hope so. Coming down here. See, I got too much water on my brush. I always start with too much water on my brush. So what happens when you have too much water on your brush? You can come over here to your paper towel and you can literally wipe it off on your paper towel, then go straight into the paint. And that is going to give you a little bit more control without having just a soppy, soupy mess. I'm liking him. I'm liking him a lot. I hope you all are liking him. We got about 15 more minutes here before Instagram pops me off. So, if you have any questions, let me hear him. I'm going to hit this with a big old, you know, one more thing. I'm going to hit it with a hair dryer and then I'm going to do my black and white stuff that you all like, that I like so much. <laughs> you may not like it, but I do. And his face, I'm going to do some of the same. This is going up and then this one's going to kind of go down. This little head right here is going down. Now, I don't know about you. I'm doing a little bit of a here on the top. He needs eyelashes. <laughs> so you have to be really careful. You could do this with your paintbrush or you could do this with your um, black pen. I'm going to start here. And I'll tell you, this also helps like if it becomes a happy or sad. If it goes up, he looks really angry. If he looks down, he looks like he's happy a little bit and cute. I learned this, people. I have made a lot of mean-looking <laughs> bunny rabbits. So, I'm going to hit this with the dryer real quick. I want to hear what you all have to say. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Tell me what you're doing. If you have any questions going to hit this really fast. I think he's pretty cute. I really like him. I hope to see what you did. When this is posted, I would love for you to direct message me or post it even right underneath this video when you're done with it. Like that's awesome too, because that way everybody can see it.
I've been posting them on my stories so we can see them all. And that's fun. Okay. So here he is. I've got my black pen. My black pen is one of my favorite pens. This is called a Uniball Signo 207 Bold. They have a regular one, and I write with that all the time. But the bold one I save special for actual um, art. So I'm coming in here, and I'm adding. Now, if you notice, I'm not sitting here and drawing every single line. I'm not. Do you see how fast I'm going? I don't want to be taking too long and do you see how messy I'm doing there's a couple reasons one if you're messy and you're doing it on purpose you can't say you did it wrong <laughs> that's my favorite reason and then also you don't want to overdo it Shannon you don't want to overdo the fur just thought I'd shout that out there some of you all like to think too much we don't need to think too much. I'm gonna color in some of these eyeballs. See, that looks good. And now I'm coming in and I'm adding a little bit right in there. Now, I'll tell you this. I, I'm gonna come in here with this little nose. I like to put his mouth up. That also makes him look like he's having a little bit more fun. Now, on mine, I don't know if y'all noticed this. On my, this one. I went ahead and I added all of this hair. I did not like that. You might like it, but I didn't like it. So you get to do whatever you want. My advice is do nice little short strokes and don't get carried away. Okay, so I... Didn't really like it, so I'm not going to do that everywhere. However, I am going to kind of come in here and do that. That helped that. Big thing on bunnies, they have whiskers. Whiskers, I have to tell you, you just have to do it. If you're scared of them, you should practice. So, I'm going to just practice. So, you take it and you do that really fast. Dot fast. I... Pushing down, and then I'm lifting up really fast. The other thing about whiskers is they normally come from the same point. Like that. Okay? So, I like to do them with a pen. Even on my regular drawings, I like to do them with a pen. But you can do it with an actual um, black paintbrush. And you see, I even move the paper. I don't do it. I might even move him upside down like this. To get that to work. Because my your wrist only goes one way. So, it's sometimes a whole lot easier if you move your paper around. So, you have extra... All right, I'm getting carried away. Y'all see that? I want him to have happy little eyelashes. Okay, guys. Happy Easter. I hope you enjoyed this. Next week, I'll tell you this. I think we're going to I think we're going to work on animals next week. Don't, I think for sure I've got a request for a monkey, so we might be doing a monkey. And that's about as far as I've thought about it because I have this class coming up. So, I need to work on this hydrangea class. But it is $25. It is a watercolor class. And you can uh, sign up for it. So, direct message me and you can get the link for it. But it starts Monday. It's Monday at noon. And so, it's just hydrangeas. And it's only two days. It's Monday and Tuesday at noon. And it's on Zoom. So, if you're interested, give me a call or text message me or direct message me. And I hope you enjoyed our week of fun stuff. Because I have. I totally have. 
All right, guys, if you all have any questions, not to mention you can find all of these on my website, meganbaileygill.com, or you can just scroll down on my Facebook page and you could see them all too, okay? How about a cat? I think we can work on a cat. That's a good idea. I'm writing it down. Monkey and a cat. Anybody else got anything? Might need to do a dog if we're doing a cat, you know. An ocean. Oceans are not animals. But maybe we could work with that. A golden retriever. Yes, a dog is... I wanted to show you again what we've been doing. So these are all extra things that we did this week and last week. So all of those videos are somewhere down on my Facebook feed that you could actually see. Somewhere I have a giraffe. All right, guys. I have a tiger. I agree. A tiger is a good one to chew. That's a good idea. Underwater sea life. That's interesting. Like a whale. Okay. Oh, Barb, you didn't ruin him with whiskers, I'm sure. We can fix him, you know that. A fox, that's a good idea. I like foxes. All right, guys, an elephant. Yeah, that's a good one. Elephants are nice and fun. Okay, I hope you all have a good day. I hope you have a good Easter. Stay home. Don't get germs. And have a very good Easter. And I hope the Easter Bunny and um, comes to see you. Don't eat too much candy. Alright guys. Happy Easter. See you later.